Welcome to our video, To Japan Issues. Japanese Prime Minister Kishida heading to Ukraine, focusing on NHK World Report, News X, and others. We start with breaking news. Japan's Prime Minister Kishida Fumio is now heading to Ukraine. He left India and is expected to hold talks with President Volodymyr Zelensky. Kishida is the only G7 leader who has not visited Ukraine since the start of Russia's invasion, despite being invited by Zelensky. He said to chair the G7 summit in Hiroshima in May. We repeat this, Japan's Prime Minister Kishida Fumio is now heading to Ukraine. He left India and is expected to hold talks with President Volodymyr Zelensky. Kishida is the only G7 leader who has not visited Ukraine since the start of Russia's invasion, despite being invited by Zelensky. He is set to chair the G7 summit in Hiroshima in May. The Japanese Prime Minister Kishida could also pay a surprise visit to Kyiv in Ukraine. That's the update coming in. Uh, remember, China has uh, attempted to show itself as a medi mediator who can broker a peaceful resolution in Ukraine, although the U.S. has been wary of China's involvement. And uh, now, as the Chinese Premier is in Russia, information also coming in that there's a likelihood that Prime Minister Kishida could also play a pay a surprise visit to Kyiv in Ukraine. So, Rishabh, how is that going to play out? This is a surprise. Uh, is this a surprise uh, thing that has come in till yesterday evening when we were discussing things with our Chinese counterparts or uh, uh, with our Japanese counterparts or the Japanese embassy here in Delhi. There was no such uh, uh, news that had come in. Uh, Kishida would be leaving India around 10:15 India time, and from here he is leaving for Kiev, is what the Japanese uh, media is reporting, and uh, sources are also saying meeting Zelensky. Remember, only uh, uh, yesterday at the 41st Sapru House uh, Dialogue, uh, where Kishida was the key speaker, and uh, in his lecture, he spoke about how Ukraine uh, conflict is a global issue and how no one can change the geopolitical or uh, demographic uh, uh, you know, situation anywhere in the world uh, using force, and Japan will not side with anyone doing so straight uh, forward, uh, giving, uh, you know, two words of wisdom to Russia on the Ukraine conflict. And now uh, when Kishida is uh, flying to Kyiv to meet Zelensky, that, that would be very interesting to see that while Xi Jinping is in Moscow, Kishida will be in uh, Ukraine. And remember, both these countries have uh, a long time, a long-standing issues on the maritime border, especially when it comes to South China Sea and the way China has been asserting itself in South China Sea and Indo-Pacific region. And now Japan has come up with the specific policy so it will be very very interesting to see how things unfold remember this would be the first time a non-nato country would be visiting okay. uh, ukraine uh, since the war broke out we have seen the nato yes. uh, countries and uh, european union countries and the state uh, heads visiting. yes these meetings uh, are of a lot of significance as well because uh, you know it will be for the world to see how it could come in in brokering peace rishab thank you for joining us with all those inputs Prime Minister Kishida, who was in India in the last 24 hours, has decided to make a surprise visit to Ukraine. Uh, and, and while there is Xi Jinping, who is in Moscow, in the neighboring country is uh, Kishida. And uh, there were also talks that uh, Prime Minister Kishida is going to speak to Prime Minister Narendra Modi over brokering a peace deal between Ukraine and Russia. And also perhaps uh, uh, influencing India into uh, going about giving their heads up and a thumbs up to what US and their allies in the NATO are building the narrative against Russia. Right. See, Japan is a very, very uh, good, uh, it is, it, the location is strategic and also this part of the Quad. It's a very important country, the Quad, like the Australia, the America, Japan, India. India is a strategic partner. Now, China has repeatedly trying to rename Japanese island, like for example, Shinkoku Island. Now when Chinese Kumo uh, Shishida goes to Ukraine, yes, I think it's a welcome step, why not? And he can bring in a lot of change, a lot of peace. At the same time, when Xi Jinping, the Chinese Premier, as a lot of people would like to call him Ping Pong, Ping Pong fellow, when he is there present in Russia at the moment, yes, they could be, uh, it could be too conflict, conflict, uh, conflict, 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 uh, situation where right. this thing can occur. Now the very fact is 
by hook or by crook, there has to be peace in Russia-Ukraine war because ultimately the whole world is going to be bearing the brunt of it. Right now, people are not realizing it's slowly and gradually, it's sneaking, it's, it's, it's uh, slipping away. But then, before it's too late, so now the very fact that the Japanese Premier is there in Ukraine, I feel he could, he could bring some about some ground over there at least, Mega. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel.